Hagen with the Nunana Ice Classic fan page here. I am down on the banks of the Tanana River and we got some exciting news. The super exciting thing that happened today is the clock is now ticking. Yep, the clock is ticking and we're really, really excited about that. So um, I know yesterday a lot of people were asking if the clock was up and running and we took a tour of the, um, the clock tower um, within the last two days and um, as of yesterday the clock was not hooked up and now it is. So uh, I guess first big change is there's a lot of melting going on so there is a huge sloppy mess that... <laughs> that I'm wading through so like yeah this was not here yesterday and it's really kind of gross but that's what happens during breakup season and that is why we have the best of the best boots so here we go people are coming to the river they're excited to see what's going on here is the clock tower and we have a watchman inside we also have the official clock and this is super super exciting so we'll come in here and say hi. <laughs> Here's the clock. So you can see that it's all hooked up because the second hand is running. It shows the time of the clock, which, um, yeah, so that, that's the one very, very interesting thing. I touched on this a couple days ago, but for anyone new listening, the when... Daylight savings happens in the spring. Everyone else springs forward, but the tripod stays put. It stays on Alaska Standard Time. So right now on my clock, it's, you know, it's almost seven. But on this clock, it's almost six. So just so you know, that's, um, that's how that works with the tripod clock. And there's always questions every year like, wait... What's the, I, like, I don't get it, <laughs> but just know that the, the tripod clock is an hour behind the normal, I mean, the local time. Tripod time is an hour behind the local time because it does not change for daylight savings. So this is the clock that we're going to be watching down to the second. I mean, the guesses are down to the minute, but you can see the second hand running and it's super cool. So there's a really interesting story about this clock as well. Um, this, there's, um, there's a guy in town who is like a really, really awesome master at, um, like doing clocks and organs, like, you know, pianos and organs, antique stuff. And he is so, so, so good at it. Um, he knows how to care for them. He knows how to restore them. And so this clock was serviced this year by him, cleaned and tuned up. So we have tip top shape clock this season. And um, that is a really, really exciting thing. So the clock is in place. This is the clock that they've been using for, um, I think, a few decades now. And it's all ready to go. So, yeah, let's go look at the river. <laughs> so here we go. This is the update for today. There's definitely a lot more puddling going on. <laughs> um... Yeah, let, I'll, I'll wade through this real quick so we can get you up close. Yeah, so like out here, there is a lot, a lot more pooling going on. Um, definitely on the riverbanks, it's, it's been sloughing off a lot more. There's this big crack right here going on. So it's, you know, it's definitely softening up and you can see the riverbank, so that's all sand right there. So a lot of that has melted out. Yeah, just a lot, a lot going on fast. Even our driveway in our, at our house is almost totally clear of snow and ice and it wasn't yesterday. So just in 24 hours, there's for sure a lot of melting going on. Um, I haven't checked the 10th street uh, bridge yet. I mean, that's the, that's the one that goes over the Ninana 
River. So I haven't gone out to see that yet. I'm waiting on some transportation to get over there. <laughs> and so right now we're excited that the clock is up and running. The temperature is in the 50s and so it's, yep, it's going. Any Anything else you want me to show you real quick? We've basically covered a lot of, we've got a lot of what's going on today. So Kelly says, let's go May 6th, my birthday. Woot woot. Wow, that's so exciting. That would be super fun if it went out on your birthday. And happy birthday anyway, coming up. That's super fun. Here's my kiddos riding their bikes. This is the first day that they've had their bikes out this season because it's actually melted enough to ride and they're so, 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 so happy. <laughs> so super happy. It's making their day and their whole season. Oh, we got some more people coming to the river. See, this is when it all, this is all, when it all happens. People start showing up and it turns into a party on the river. So there you have it. We've got the watchmen, we've got the clock running, we can see the time, and everything's melting. Um, again, so the because the Ninana River hasn't, uh, um, no, the, the Ninana River has opened up, but still down here is not like all the way opened up. So we're still looking at at least several days, typically, this is typical, uh, of course, not guaranteed because anything can happen, <laughs> but it, it'll probably still be a few days once we see some of this opening up down here and um, for sure the Ninana is open, so it could happen within a week to 10 days. That's kind of the, the typical time frame that we're looking at. We've also got wind that upriver, so just so you know, the river flows this way upriver around this bend back in this area um there's an airport i mean it, it's it's a lot further away you really can't see it it's not like behind the trees or anything it's like you know several several blocks down there is an airport and we've caught wind that there is open water up near the airport so that is really exciting um, cause yeah, once you see open water that's right around this bend and happening up and down from the tripod, that's when things really start moving. So it's definitely going to be a party over the next few days and we'll keep coming out, um, with frequent updates as much as we can. And especially when we start seeing some cracking in the ice and some open water in this area we'll basically just be camping out out here <laughs> so there we go all right there's today's update and hope you guys have an awesome may 1st that's really exciting it's it's really starting to become spring here and everyone's happy the temperature is great and yeah it feels so great out here Okay, Shelby's saying up by fish camp beyond the bridge. Yep, that's, yeah, that's where um, the open water is. So, yes, it's really, really exciting. Open water is coming. Um, we hear more and more about how the Chena River in Fairbanks is opening up and the Ninana is open. So, yep, it's going down. Okay. Oh, Cynthia says, Taiku... Oh, Taiku for going live. Exciting. We're not too much longer after you fellas. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I probably read that wrong. <laughs> so, yep, that's that's what we we got going today. There's the tripod. It's definitely pulling up a lot, a lot around there. So, we'll be seeing some movement here most likely in the next couple days. Jaren says, I missed my due date. <laughs> yep, you and so many others, but it's all part of the game. It's it's crazy. No one ever knows what's going to happen every year. Like, seriously, I we were really thrown for a loop this year when my husband and I were deciding.
deciding what tickets we wanted to get. You know, we go through the weather forecast, we go through, you know, the historical breakup dates that are on the um, on the pamphlet. So, by the way, if you don't know about the pamphlet, they have all of the breakup t dates and times ever since the inception of the Ice Classic on their website. So, on their official website, ninanaakiceclassic.com, you can download that pamphlet totally free. It's just out for everyone. All of the information is public. So you can download that to inform your guesses. And anyway, so, you know, we were we were pouring over that and looking at some of the trends and looking at the weather forecast and submitted our tickets. And then we had a crazy cold spell that, was, that no one expected. I mean, sure, it, it does like ebb and flow in the spring. So... Um, it definitely happens sometimes, but it was like a colder than normal and longer than normal cold spell. It was like winter came back and everyone was super upset. <laughs> but, so you never know. And that's why we're kind of having a, a later than expected breakup season this year. And it's all part of the game. So, okay, thanks guys. Tune in again tomorrow and every day after that until the tripod goes out. We'll be here on the river and join us for the party. Bye.